In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called matching graphs with polynomial functions. We're given two functions here, f of x and h of x, and we're asked which of these graphs matches either f of x or h of x. And there's a couple different things that we can look at to make this determination. And I'll start by looking at the end behavior. And to determine the end behavior, I like to look at some basic functions such as y equals x, this is where the leading coefficient is positive and the degree is odd. y equals x is just a line going down to the left and up to the right. And from that I know that other functions that have, an, that have a positive leading coefficient and an odd degree will have that same end behavior. When we have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient, we have the opposite that line is going down, so it's up to the left, down to the right. When we look at positive and even, even if the degree is higher, a 4, a 6, and so on, the end behavior would still be the same as x squared, which is up to the left and up to the right. When I have a negative coefficient and an even, all of those functions have end behavior of down to the left and down to the right. And with this in mind, I can look at each of these, starting with f of x. To find the leading coefficient, I'll look first at this x minus 4. That is being squared, so the leading coefficient once squared would be x squared. And then the second factor here has a leading coefficient of x squared, so those would be multiplied, giving me an x to the fourth. So my end behavior would be the same as positive leading coefficient, even degree, so this is going up and up. I can eliminate any of these that are not going up and up, so f of x must be either b, d, or e. I can continue now to look at the zeros. I'll start with this factor. x minus 4 would give me a zero at x equals 4 with a multiplicity of 2 meaning that it's just touching at 4 and not going through. So b is touching at 4 and not going through. d is touching at 4 but not going through. e is not touching at 4. So again, I've narrowed it down to b and d. I can look at the second 0, which gives me an x squared minus 4 equals 0, or x squared equals 4. So this gives us two zeros. Either x is 2 or x is negative 2. Each of these has a multiplicity of 1, so it's going through at 2 and negative 2. Going through at 2 and negative 2 must be the graph B. So we've completed f of x. We've identified it as graph B. For the second h of x, I can again look at the end behavior, and here my leading term has a negative coefficient in the even degree. Negative coefficient in even degree means that it is going to be going down to the left, down to the right. So again, I can eliminate down to the left, down to the right, it gives us a, c, or f, and I would again need to turn to my zeros. So to find the zeros, I would first want to factor h of x, and I can see that there's a common number in the coefficients. Between 4 and 12, I could factor out a 4, and both of these terms have at least three x's, so an x3. Since the leading coefficient here is negative, I'll also factor out a negative, and then factoring out the negative 4x cubed from the first term, I would be left with just an x, from the second term, if I factored out a negative 4 from that 12 coefficient, I would have a minus 3. And then I factored out the x third, so this would be our factored expression. And now looking at zeros, if x to the third is 0, then my 0 happens at 0 and has a multiplicity of 3. So since the multiplicity is odd, I know it goes through the x-intercept of 0 which that happens in A, it is going through. It is not happening at C, so I can eliminate that. And while F 
does have a zero here, it is not going through. It is just touching, which would indicate a multiplicity that is even. So it's not going to be F either. I've eliminated everything except for graph A. So I know that that would be my choice. But if I were to continue, my second zero over here would happen where X equals 3. And that is, of course, also on graph A.